Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to transfer information from your old phone to your new phone. It doesn't matter which one it is, you guys can follow up with this video. Now, obviously, this is a video for those of you who already have an older iPhone. Now, if you're brand new to iPhones, I do have a separate video that teaches you how to set that up as a new user. This is if you want to transfer stuff. Anyways, right now on your old phone, go into settings. On your settings, scroll down. You're going to see general. Tap on general. Scroll all the way down. You guys are gonna see transfer or reset iPhone. Tap there. Then from here, you're gonna see this, prepare for new iPhone. Just tap on get started and here we go. So they're gonna give you free extra cloud storage. So I don't pay for any iCloud storage. I have whatever it's free. I think it's like five gigs and that's it. I've never paid for it. However, if I want to back up anything from my phone onto the cloud, it's going to take a while because there's a ton of information. So right now I'm just going to press on continue. So right now it's going to ask you if you want to back up these apps that are not currently in iCloud in there just to back up that data. And yes, we're going to move all app data with iCloud. So we're going to do that right now and done. So what's this going to do? So just tap on get started again. You guys are going to see this. You'll be ready for your new phone because you're going to upload everything to cloud. And then there you go. So right now, just tap on done and go back. And you guys can see that your backup should have started. So up here, it says iCloud backup in progress, 20% complete and so on. So it's going to complete that backup. Once you're done with backup, get your new phone and start the setup process. So at this point in time, you don't have to turn on your brand new phone, not yet. Only once this is done with the backup, then go ahead. Now, I'm not just going to teach you how to do this this way. I'm going to teach you the other options that you guys have in order to transfer information from one phone to another. But personally, I have found that doing this through iCloud is the sleekest way to go about it. And no, you don't need to use iCloud if you want to transfer information from one phone to another. You guys can go ahead and transfer it using your computer. On Mac, you guys can use Finder. On PC, you guys can use iTunes, for example. And you guys can also just use your phones. Just have one beside the other one and then just transfer the information from one to another. That said, I have found out that the smoothest way to transfer information is actually using iCloud or your computer. The other way where you guys put one phone beside the other one, it's not so smooth. Sometimes they just don't do the main thing. Um, also keep in mind that you should have your phone up to date. So make it, make sure it's all up to date. So go and make sure right down here, going to general, then software update and make sure you're in the latest iOS, whatever iOS that is, you should be up to date. Now, the reason we're doing that is because your new phone will have the latest update and that way everything will run smoothly. So right now, just wait for this to be done and then we can go on with the setup. All right. So right now that your information's all backed up, we can go ahead and set up your new phone. Do you need to take out your SIM card right now from your old phone and put it on your new one? You don't have to right now. You can do it later on, but it's better if you just take it out and do it. So that means you should have got something like this in the box. If you don't have this with your new phone, just get an earring. Take out your SIM card. Um, a lot of people say to have your phone turned off when you're taking this out. I've never had an issue, so I never turn it off. And I've done this thousands of times. So now we're taking this out. It's the SIM card and we can put on a new phone. Again, you don't have to because you might still want to get calls or whatever, but you're doing the setup. So get ready not to take any phone calls and I'll get your other phone and insert your SIM card. Can you use the same SIM card on your new phone? That's because almost all iPhones have the nano SIM card. And by all, I mean, if your phone's not more than four years old, you should be good. Actually, even more than that more than four years old. Keep in mind, you guys can also get a new SIM card and just transfer your phone number as well. But uh, right now, by taking the SIM card from this one and putting it here, we just transfer the phone number right now. It's that easy, actually. So we officially just transfer it over your phone number to this new phone. Anyways, right now, just make sure on your old phone, Bluetooth is turned on. Do not have it on anything like um, low power mode. So don't have that on. Just make sure your Bluetooth's on be connected to your Wi-Fi network, and then just turn on your new phone. So it doesn't matter which one you've got, just turn it on by pressing the power button, let it turn on, 
and then we're going to go on with the setup. So we're going to be transferring information from this one to this one. This one's a new one. And here we go. Let's just scroll up. All right. And right away, as soon as it says language, before you even choose that, it's going to say set up new iPhone on your old phone. Okay. That's because it's beside it. So we detect it and just go on and click on continue. That means we're doing this with a quick start. Okay. So we're going to go on to continue. And right now we just have to hold our camera to scan this one. So we're just going to scan that. It's hard to get this on camera so you guys can see what's going on. But you guys just have to scan this with the camera. Then we're going to see this. So set up for me. So we're going to do that. Set up for me. It's going to ask you for your passcode for this phone, which would be the same one as this one. You guys can change it up later if you like. Once you put in that passcode, there you go. Setting up your phone. Just have them close to each other. Your battery level, make sure... The old one at least is 100%, or at least 80, I would say, but 100 is better. Then your new one comes with some battery. It should have at least 70% of your battery. That's usually it. And then you guys can just continue on. This is the new one, by the way. Old, new, old, new. And then your face ID. So we still have to set this up. So we're just going to set that up really quick. So I'm going to press on get started. So there we go. We can use our face mask or not. So I'm going to use face mask which means I just have to set that up one more time. Face ID, continue on, and here we go. So we can transfer from phone, that's directly, having one beside another. So like I told you before, you guys can do that. You guys can go ahead and transfer just like that uh, by having one beside the other, but I found a bunch of glitches through that. I found the best ways during iCloud, but uh, if definitely if you guys, you know, if this fails or glitches out on you with iCloud, just try the transfer from phone set them beside each other like so. So we're gonna do this and it's gonna set up your account. And yes, it's gonna transfer everything, by the way. Your apps, photos, videos, all that stuff, it's signing in. So the animation that they made, it's it's new. They didn't have this animation before, which is kind of nice, but it's signing into your iCloud. It's gonna download everything. You technically at this point don't need your old phone beside the other one, so close but it's better if you do. So at this point in time, it says, make this your new phone. Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna just continue on. It's gonna detect everything that you guys have. Then automatically update. Well, for me, it's only download. I never like to update by myself. And then um, turn on location services. Yeah, because I wanna use maps. All right, then you guys are gonna see this screen. On your phone, you should see something like, so don't touch your old phone for now. Just keep going with the new one. Uh, you guys can choose to share or not. This is just the regular setup. Uh, silent mode. Okay, so on your new phone, most likely you guys have that new button where you guys can customize it. It doesn't have to be just silent. So that's something that you can change later on. It is an action button. I'm not going to customize it right now because I'm going to see later on if I want to do that. Camera control. It's just going to tell you that you guys have a camera control here. Just continue on with all this stuff. It's just a quick tutorial. Emergency, continue on. And then you do have to update. Okay, so update now. And keep in mind that when an update happens on your new phone, it kind of restarts the process a little bit, just a little bit faster though. So at this point in time, if you guys have really slow internet, I would suggest just hooking up your new phone to some electricity, have it charging while this update's happening. Other than that, just let it happen, come back to it afterwards. Don't touch your old phone for now. All right, so while it's updating, you guys could press on okay here. And with this phone, you're pretty much done because it's going to download the um, iCloud stuff, but have it beside the old one, I mean the new one, just because later on it might restart a few things. So just have it beside and um, you guys can actually press on done here because you're actually done with this phone. Now, does it mean when you're transferring stuff from your old phone to your new one that it's erasing everything from your old one? No, it's actually going to keep all the information here. You could technically have two phones with the same stuff in them. Don't worry about it. But if you're gonna sell your old phone or you're gonna give it away, you should do a factory reset. So later on, you guys should go into general. And I'm saying later on because only once you verify that everything's in there, you should do this. So you should go all the way down and then you guys see this transfer reset phone. If you see down here below it says erase all content and settings, that's gonna delete that ID from this phone. It's gonna delete everything from within the phone. So whoever you're giving this to or you're selling it can set it up with their own Apple ID or you guys can set it up again using your own. It doesn't really matter. And again, it's not something you have to do. You could keep your old phone with the old stuff in there and the new one, you can just keep using that one and use both at the same time. 
it does not matter. But that's something later on that we're going to see. For now, we're just going to get out of here. We're going to leave them be and just let the new one update. All right, so if you just left your phone to be, your new one that is, to update, and there we go. Just swipe up, put in your passcode. That's the same passcode as your old one. Then you're going to see this. And you're almost done with the whole setup, by the way. So right now, we can just choose whatever you guys want or whatever you had. And you're going to see this quick start. So it's going to look for this one, which, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense that it's doing that. But hey, once an update happens, that's what happens. So right now, your old iPhone, just make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. What I would do is just lock it up, unlock, and that should refresh things, and you should see something like so. So there we go. That's how you guys can get that quick start to actually come out so you guys can see it. So there's the quick start. I can just unlock to continue. And right here, I just have to scan that again. So we're gonna go on and scan just by lifting up my phone. I should be able to get that in my camera. All right, and then we're just gonna choose set up for me. Pretty much the same thing we did before, but remember, we did the update, so that's why we have to kind of redo it again. And here we go. So we're gonna choose download from iCloud. Right here, it's gonna ask us the same things again. We're gonna continue on because we want everything. And it's gonna be updating the backup. It's gonna be sending everything over. So right now, yes, yeah, it doesn't make sense that it's saying this, updating backup because we just did the backup not long ago. That's okay. That's just to make sure that you transfer everything over that's new in here in there. Right now, all you guys have to do is just wait. Uh, at this point in time, yes. Um, we can go on and tap on done or tap on what's next. It's going to show you that you guys have the option to factory reset it or just keep using your phone. You can have two phones with you with the exact same information. Obviously, this one has the SIM card now, so you're going to take your phone calls from there. But you can use this one with iMessage, FaceTime, all that stuff as long as you guys have Wi-Fi. Again, it's restoring everything from iCloud, so that's what's happening here. So we could technically take this one away. And on the new one, you guys should, could just leave it to be. Right now, just let it download everything. It does take some time for apps, especially to download. All right, so at this point in time, your iPhone should have done its thing. So you guys can just scroll up. It will take a while, by the way. And your old one, I want to show you the old one just because I'm not going to click out that message just to show you. Um, I will do it right now. There you go. I still have um, everything in here. Just want to show you that. And on my new one, if I scroll up, so this time you guys are going to see that all the apps are downloading at the moment. So if I scroll through all my apps from this phone, so it should be everything organized the same way as well. So you guys are going to see that it didn't just fill out the apps wherever they are exactly as my old ones. So if I scroll through, I'm going to see those. I'm going to see that. I'm going to see all that. And there you go. So it's that easy to transfer information from one phone to another. And your pictures, everything will be in there, your contacts, absolutely everything would have transferred on. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.